Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So let's get going. Problem. Verify that 5n of x equal to x square is the solution of the differential equation d square y by dx square minus of 2y x square and 2y equal to 0. Here, the independent variable x lies between 0 and infinity and find a solution, second independent solution also obtain the solution of the given equation. So we have to verify that 5 1 of x which is equal to x square that means x square satisfies this equation or not. Okay. If this x square satisfies this equation then we can say that 5 1 of x equal to x square is the solution of this equation and we are asked to find second independent solution. Okay. When y equal to c1 f of x plus c2 into v into f of x is the general solution v into f of x is a second linearly independent solution okay here f of x and v into f of x are two linearly independent solutions and this is a second linearly independent solution and we can call it as first independent first linearly independent solution so we are asked to find v into f of x Okay, second linearly independent solution is given by v into f of x and also obtain the solution of the given equation. Solution of the given equation is nothing but the general solution which is given by y equal to c1 f of x plus c2 v into f of x. Okay, let's see. Given differential equation. d square y by dx square minus of 2 by x square into y equal to 0. Consider as equation number 1. Say. Okay. Now we are going to verify that 5 1 of x equal to x square is the solution of this equation or not. So let's have 5 1 of x which is x square. Find 5 1 dash of x which is 2x and 5 1 double dash of x just 2 okay now take the LHS part d square y by dx square minus 2 by x square into y okay so here we have to check whether this equation satisfies I mean x square satisfies this equation or not Simply we can substitute y by x square and y dash by 2x and y double dash by 2 or dy by dx by 2x and d square y by dx square with 2. Okay, then I'll get, I'll just replace d square y by dx square with 2, this is equals to 2 minus 2 by x square into replace y with x square. Here x square gets cancelled and we will get 2 minus 2 which is equal to 0. Right? d square y by dx square minus 2 by x square into y equal to 0. When y equal to x square or when y equal to 5 1 of x equals to x square. Right? Therefore, 5 1 of x equal to x square is a solution of 1. So, we have proved the first thing. Now, let's find the second independent solution of this equation. So, before finding second independent solution, let's see a statement of a theorem. If y equal to f of x is a solution of the equation of the form p of x into y double dash plus q of x into y dash plus r of x into y equal to 0, then y equal to c1 f of x plus c2 v into f of x is the general solution of this equation. And here f of x and v into f of x are the linearly independent solutions. And v is given by integral e power 
minus integral q of x by p of x into dx by integral f of x whole square into dx, right? So here, if y equal to f of x is a solution, say one solution of this equation, then v into f of x is another solution, which is second independent solution or second linearly independent solution. So we are asked to find v into f of x and also we are asked to find the general solution that is y equal to c1 into f of x plus c2 into v into f of x. Okay, fine. Now, write the given differential equation in this form and find v. After finding v, find v into f of x which is second independent solution and later you can write the general solution. Okay. We are having equation 1 d square y by dx square minus 2 by x square into y equal to 0, right? We have considered it as equation number 1. Now, I will write this in, in the form p of x into y double dash plus q of x into y dash plus r of x into y equal to 0 form, okay? For that purpose, I'll multiply the equation with x square or just split this equation into LHS equals to RHS form for your convenience. Okay. Now multiply both of the both sides of the equation with x square, you'll get x square into d square y by dx square equal to x square into 2 by x square into y. X square gets cancelled from the RHS part. And this becomes x square into d square y by dx square equal to 2y. Now bring this 2y to LHS, we'll get x square into d square y by dx square minus 2y equal to 0. And we know that d square y by dx square can be written as y double dash, okay, minus 2y equal to 0. Here we don't have first derivative term, right? So let's take it, let's take a dummy term for our convenience, okay? Plus some 0 into y dash. Okay, consider as equation number 2. Now, compare this equation 2 with this equation. Compare 2 with p of x y double dash plus q of x into y dash plus r of x into y equal to 0. Okay. By comparing these two, we have p of x equals to x square quotient of y double dash, right? And q of x quotient of y dash is 0 and r of x is minus 2. And also we are given one solution phi 1 of x which is x square, right? Here, f of x equals to phi 1 of x equal to x square, right? The second Linearly independent solution is given by v into f of x, which is equal to v into, we are having f of x, x square. Now we need to find v. Let's find v. v is given by integral of e power minus integral q of x by p of x into dx by f of x whole square into dx, right? We are having q of x, p of x and f of x. So let's find the second one, linearly independent solution. In order to find v, firstly I'll find integral q of x by p of x into dx which is equal to q of x 0 by p of x x square into dx which is 0. Now find e power 
minus integral q of x by p of x into dx which is e power 0 1 now coming to v v equal to integral of e power minus integral q of x into p of x dx e power minus integral p of x dx is 1 by f of x whole square we are having f of x equals to x square whole square into dx this is equal to integral 1 by x power 4 into dx right which is equal to since we know that 1 by x power n can be written as x power minus n so we'll write it as x power minus 4 into dx and also we know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equals to minus 1 here we are having n equals to minus 4 which is not equals to minus 1 so we can apply this formula here we'll get x power minus 4 plus 1 by minus 4 plus 1 which is equals to x power minus 3 by minus 3 now we can write v as 1 by minus 3 into x power minus 3 this is equals to minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x cube which is equals to minus 1 by 3 x cube right therefore v equal to minus 1 by 3 x cube right now coming to the second linearly independent solution therefore the second independent solution or second linearly independent solution is given by v into f of x which is equal to v into x square since f of x is x square now write v replace v with 1 minus 1 by 3 x cube into x square which is equal to minus 1 by 3 into x square into x power minus 3 I think it's not necessary to write x power minus 3 as 1 by x cube okay this is equals to minus 1 by 3 into x power minus 3 plus 2 which is equals to minus 1 by 3 into x power minus 1 or minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x see here minus 1 by 3 is constant Let's write in the general solution and later we can decide the second independent solution of our problem. Okay. Therefore, v into f of x equals to minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x. Now coming to the general solution. The general solution is given by y equal to c1 f of x plus c2 v into f of x, right? Then y equal to c1 into f of x, x square plus c into v into f of x is minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x. So now we can include this minus 1 by 3 in this c2, right? We can add this minus 1 by 3 in c2. Let c2 dash equals to minus 1 by 3 into c2. Then we'll get c1x square plus c2 dash, another constant simply, into 1 by x. Now, x square and 1 by x are linearly independent solutions, right? We can take 1 by x as a second independent solution or second linearly independent solution, right? And this is a required general solution. If you don't want to change C2 into minus 1 by 3 as C2 dash, let minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x be our second linearly independent solution. Okay. Therefore, y equal to C1x square plus C2 into minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x or y equal to c1x square 
plus C2 dash into 1 by X is the general solution. And minus 1 by 3 into 1 by X or 1 by X is the second linearly independent solution. Okay, if you don't want to write C2 into minus 1 by 3 as C2 dash, then minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x is a second linearly independent solution. This is a second linearly independent solution. Okay, or if you want to write C2 into minus 1 by 3 as C2 dash, then 1 by x will be our second linearly independent solution. Okay, either 1 by 3 into 1 by x or 1 by x is a second linearly independent solution. Either C1x square plus C2 into minus 1 by 3 into 1 by x or C1x square plus C2 dash into 1 by x is a general solution. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.